Hey, hey, hey. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whenever you are seeing this video, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Those of you that are with me streaming live right now. We are in the throne room. I am the Divine Maverick. Some people call me the mother of twins. It's a long story. Watch my other videos, my older videos, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I am so happy that you guys are here tonight. Suddenly, immediately, <laughs> and out of the blue. Suddenly, immediately, and out of the blue. These are your ring of fire messages. We have a solar eclipse coming, y'all. I know y'all already feel the energy. As you guys are still coming in the room, I got to tell you about the the um, song that was that was playing on repeat in my head as I was getting ready for um, this stream. Um, it's a it's definitely going to be a, like a confirm. I'm just just go ahead and already get ready. Just brace yourself because you have been wondering about this and. And this is uh, your confirmation. So it's, um, here we are as in olden days, happy golden days of yore, faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. Uh-huh. Through the years, we all will be together. If the fates allow, and they do, hang a shining star up on the highest bough. And have yourself a merry little Christmas now. It's going to be a very very, very, very merry. See? And the dog says amen. How y'all doing? Okay. I won't be before you long. <laughs> I won't be before you long. Okay, Sydney. What you need? I don't know what her deal is. It's probably it's the energy. Listen, your pets are probably off the chain. Literally. They off the collar of the leash, at least, because you're off the chain. You're off the leash. Listen, there's a paradigm shift happening, and it's happening suddenly, immediately, and out of the blue. Let me give you my disclaimer. That is not my title. I, that, that's not my original title. I, didn't, I mean, it didn't originate from me. Um, I heard it, or read it, rather, from um, a mailing list that I get with the word of the day that comes from Ella K. She knows who she is. Uh, for years, I've been receiving word of the day messages from this beautiful, beautiful soul who knows the Bible inside and out like nobody's business. And uh, there is a Pastor Jason, I believe, Giles or Giles, G-I-L-E-S, that said this. So she quoted him. And when I read it, I was like, oh, OK, so it's suddenly, immediately and out of the blue. I'll get to that more on that later. But that is my title. But first, we have to talk about the paradigm shift that is coming right now. Hi, Carvita. Thank you for being here. All right, so let's talk about the paradigm shift. I'm going to read this straight out of the book. No need to reinvent the wheel. This is from the Lightworker Oracle book by Alana Fairchild. Um, the card is paradigm shift. I should show it to you. I should do that. Okay, paradigm shift. And it says you are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time. Solar eclipse, ring of fire. See, solar eclipse, ring of fire. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Somebody put in the chat, I am in an extraordinary time. If that's too much for you to type, just put extraordinary. Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so great leaps forward can be made in a moment. And that moment is here. That moment is here. Somebody just got that. Put my moment is here. But that moment is here, meaning this weekend. And remember, this energy runs the next six months. So get in, and but get in now. Get locked in now so you can kind of ride this wave and ride this thing out through all the twists and turns. Nobody said, he, nobody said, he said it would be easy. Uh, wait, what is that? But the road will be Nobody told me. Yeah, the road. I was like, what is that song? 
look, nobody told nobody told you that the road would be easy. <laughs> okay, but you have not been brought this far to be left behind or to miss the mark or miss out on what is for you. So there's a paradigm shift here. This is the moment. Great forward, great leaps forward can be made in this moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly ah break open and a new world can become your reality. Suddenly, immediately, and out of the blue. So suddenly your your old world you can that you with the world that you thought that you knew what you thought you knew like the back of your hand can suddenly or immediately or out of the blue change into a whole new world a whole new way of being okay that is what we're talking about tonight suddenly things that are going to happen immediately i mean the moment you you agree the moment you agree with the truth, the moment you speak your truth, the moment you follow your truth, the moment you trust your intuition, the moment you heed what your spirit guides have been saying, the moment that you align, immediately change will happen. Out of the blue, somebody's going to show up and they're going to have everything that you need. Everything that you need because they took the time out to get what they needed. Somebody does not want to come empty handed. If that resta ba if that's you, if that is your message, you know somebody loves you and they don't want to come to you empty-handed. You can put in come full. Eshama, come full. Ishaba to rabasaya. Irabo and and immediately. Now see, now watch what just happened. You just aligned with that word. You just aligned with their hope and their dream. I want to come with something in my hand. I don't want to come empty handed. So you just align with, okay, well then come full. Not empty. So come on full. Let's shine You see how, you see what that is? That is why this mind, this crown chakra, this connection to spirit must be like this. It has to be lock solid. Because when your mind, your body, and your spirit are in alignment, baby, you are a force to be reckoned with. Let's keep going. Paradigm shift happening this weekend, October 14, ring of fire, ring of fire. Somebody, every time I hear it, every time you hear that you're a ring, it's a ring. Yes, it's a ring. It's a promise ring. It's an engagement ring. It's a wedding ring. It's a, it's a ring camera. It's a ring Around the rosy. It's a ring of roses. It's a ring of cherries. It's an O ring. The letter O, the letter R, the letter S, the letter M, W. Somebody's going to suddenly become an X. And then immediately something new is going to happen out of the blue. This is your messages. These are your, this is your messages. These are your messages for the ring of fire. These are your messages. It says Buddhists sometimes speak of the beginner's mind. That which assumes nothing and therefore is open to everything. I said the Buddhists call it the beginner's mind. The mind that, 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 that uh, resists, I was going to say resists nothing. It assumes nothing. Ooh, shaman. The, uh, another way to say it, resist, like a child's mind. A child will not resist anything. They will touch a hot stove because they're like, hot. It's so you say this, how it's, it's hot. It'll bother, but they don't resist it. They're curious. It'll, uh, remember you used to be curious? Remember when, when curiosity caused you to explore beyond your own boundaries? Curiosity pulled you to a place beyond your reach or what you thought was beyond your reach? Suddenly, you're going to have your curiosity return. Somebody just got my curiosity is coming back. My curiosity is coming back. I'm curious. I'm curious. Put it in the chat. I'm just saying put it in the chat. 
You know how you felt it. Just put it how you felt it. That's somebody's message. Immediately, somebody's going to put it how they felt it. I'm going to cause you to feel what you made me feel. You can take that either way. That's right down the middle. You can take that either way. So it says, the beginner's mind assumes nothing and therefore is open to everything. A spiritual psychologist might call this the inner child. The inner child, as it is innocent, curious, unfixed, and always learning. Ah, said the inner child is curious, unfixed, always learning. Ishanaba, innocent, curious unfixed. If you need your inner child to come out and play so you can really do some stuff, go ahead and put unfixed. Unfixed. Unfixed no longer means that you're not healed. Unfixed now means you're no longer bound. You can't fix me that way. You can't fix me this way. You can't fix me. Listen, you somebody you just got healed. I'm, what? You just got heard that. You just got healed. You can't fix me. Somebody says I'm unfixed. But you can't fix me. But first of all, there's nothing wrong with me. And number two, you're not going to bind me up. You're not going to limit. No, you can't fix me. I'm going to remain unfixed. That's it. No longer bound. But unfixed. No longer bound. Unfixed. No longer bound. So it says, it doesn't get stuck on an answer having to be one way. A child's mind or an inner child, the inner child doesn't get stuck with it having to be one way. See, it doesn't have to be one way. See, some of y'all wanted your person to approach you and just, 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 just write the, cause the book says, or the seminar I took, I, the, the pamphlet I picked up, the, the ebook I ordered said, but your person is going to come to you in a myriad of ways. Your person's going to come to you in any way they want, especially the way that most confounds you. These are your ring of fire messages. These are your ring of fire messages. But yeah, it doesn't get stuck on an answer. It doesn't get stuck on an answer having to be one way. Am I, am I freezing to somebody? Is my signal, when the when anointing gets high, my signal gets a little weird. Is everything all right? Somebody put in green hearts if we doing all right. We're doing good. Some of that yes doesn't help me. That's a whole message. That yes doesn't help me. I'm, I asked you a question. Listen, that yes doesn't help me. I asked you a question. Thank you so much. Here we go. Old souls can sometimes find it hard to recapture their not knowingness. I'm going to say it again because you guys are old souls. I'm talking to the old souls. Sometimes it's hard for you to recapture your not knowingness. Eshama, knowingness. You know everything. You know a lot because you have a lot of life experience. Some of you are young watching this and you're like, but I, I'm an old soul. That's what that means. I'm young. I just, somebody said, you may be young, but you're ready. Keith Sweat said it. Isha, you may be young, but you're ready. Somebody's teenager just got free. That was good. I may be young, but I'm ready. <laughs> okay. But it says, asking someone with a lot of life experience who may have become a bit world weary. Uh-huh. We a lot of us can identify you some the the world the world wearied you just a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on, somebody put in the chat just a little bit. We like to just tell the truth so we can shine a light. And then we say, okay, that's what that is. Let me fix that. Or not. Eh, let me unfix it. Eh, right? So, <laughs> just a little bit. So it's hard. It says it because you're an old soul and you have a lot of life experience. It's hard for you to fall into that, that place, you know, to drop your expectations and, and look at the world with fresh eyes, like see the world, like, you know, see the positive when we, you know, when somebody has been rude to you enough, when somebody has been lying to you enough or cheating on you enough, when your money has been funny enough, when, when the, when the cars break down enough, when the, when the landlords are all out of their minds, when the kids are just, you know, it, you know, when, when think, when the world has wearied you, you find it, you find it 
difficult to see it through some fresh eyes. When they said they would call and they don't, when they said that they were on their way and they never made it there, you know, you know, so I'm just, you know, it's just us here. So if we can talk, if it's okay, we can just have this conversation. It's just, okay, it's just us. There's not a lot of people in here. It's Mela Nodobo Te. So, so it's, it's hard for you to see things with fresh eyes. It says, yet life becomes much more energizing and interesting when you are open and don't hold expectations about what will be. So again, life will become interesting and energizing when you don't have expectations about what it should be. and You just let spirit just dazzle you. Somebody say, dazzle me, dazzle me, dazzle me, spirit, dazzle me, universe. Dazzle me, me, yeah, shama. Some of y'all dazzle me, me, because immediately, and out of the blue, shama. Immediately and out of the blue, that you you can be dazzled. Immediately, you can be dazzled if you if you but if you but want to, if you really really want to. So it says suddenly you are receptive to the universe helping you in ways that in the past you did not believe possible. I feel like a many of us are ready to believe again in that way. We're just ready to believe again. I feel that activation right now. I'm ready to believe again. I'm ready to be immediately and out of the blue, surprised and, 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 and filled with glee and joy. Some of y'all already feeling it in the palm of your hand, like a little circle. Yes, it manda. There it is. Ah, you're ready to believe again. Ready to be dazzled again. I know, dazzled again. All right. So, um, what does it say? Yeah, the de bestor. Oh, I feel I feel prayers around all around me. I feel prayers. Sarah, I feel you praying for me. Thank you. So it says if you are feeling that you don't really know yourself or your relationships, or your place in the world as you once did, if you are feeling that what once held to be certain now seems to be a little shaky, these are the signs that you are going through a paradigm shift. Amen, Sotoba. Okay, so guess what? So it's, that means it's all right. That means it's all right. That means it's all right. So suddenly and immediately and out of the blue, there's going to be a paradigm shift for you. And now you understand it's going to be all right. It's already all right. You're right where you need to be. You're right where you need to be. These are signs that you're going through a paradigm shift. This will bring you new perceptions that will free you to be in the world in new ways. You will find yourself shedding old limits, fears, and misconceptions. Bye-bye. Old limits, uh huh, fears, old fears and misconceptions. Bye bye, because there's a paradigm shift suddenly, immediately, and out of the blue. You are stepping beyond what you have known, and you are a bit like a traveler in a new city, feeling awkward until you get the lay of the land and how things operate in the new place. The new place is this new dimension that you're in. This new dimension that you're in. You went up a notch. You went up a level. Somebody said, I went up. I went up. These are your ring of fire messages. I almost said burning bush messages. Wow. I almost said burning bush. But it says, if you find yourself questioning the views in mass media or spoken in the conversations of those around you, that the, the conversations that are being had, Take heart and know that you are awakening from a fear-based world into a loved field reality. That's beautiful. You are awakening or more conscious of a fear-based world instead of a love into into instead of a into a love-filled reality. Leaving the fear-based world and and creating the love-filled reality. You see, you went up a notch. You went up a notch. We all went up. Your confusion will soon transform into joy at discovering that you are free and have no reason to be afraid. Soon, listen to that. Soon you're going to realize that you have no reason to be afraid because the fear is going to absolutely melt away because you are leaving the paradigm shift, hint, hint, for the ring of fire. This solar eclipse is, what is it eclipsing out? The fear-based world. What's coming around you and in you and through you and because of you and by you, because it has gone before you, is a love-filled reality. 
Yes. Adilabos da Bahaya. And you are free. That's what you're going to discover very soon, if not this night. You're going to discover that you are free and you have no reason to ever, ever be afraid. You are encouraged by the universe to embrace the power you have to be a free thinker. Somebody put in free your mind. Hey, free your mind. Accept the accelerated mental shift happening for you, even if it creates temporary uncertainty or discomfort. Accept this new reality, even if it creates temporary uncertainty or discomfort. Ebalis Toraba, free your mind. It's temporary. Oreba Sanda Dabasa. It's temporary. Eshana Basota Rabasaya. It's temporary. O Sede de Boraba Sende de Debaya. It's temporary. O Talabare Tadabasianda Ba. Because suddenly, immediately, and out of the blue, my paradigm is going to shift. E Masotoro Bosande de Dea. So whatever this is that I am facing that's making me a little uncomfortable or a little uncertain or a little confused, I know. Reta Basanda Ba. It's temporary. Because suddenly, immediately, and out of the blue, my whole world is about to change. <laughs> my whole world is going to change. It's going to change. My whole world. So accept the accelerated mental shift happening for you, even if it creates, I said that, I said that, sorry. Dare to think thoughts of love. Dare to think thoughts of love rather than lower your vibration by choosing thoughts of fear. Okay, dare to love, choose love. Trust in this because for something is helpful and empowering and it's happening for you right now. Right now. All right. I don't know how long we've been on, y'all, but that's all. That's the message. That is the message. That is the message. Suddenly, immediately, and out of the blue, there's a paradigm shift. There's a paradigm shift out of the fear-based world into a love-filled reality. That's, that's what's real. Only love is real. One more message. We'll get it from the uh, heart shape deck. Thank you. Guardian angel. So you got a guardian angel that's with you. Trust. <laughs> Didn't we just end with that? Trust. All unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love. And all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. Your guardian angels are watching over you. God is watching God is watching us. God is watching us. Yes. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here, Carvita. Thank you so much for moderating, doing your thing thing. I will um, see y'all again, you know, very soon. I'm very, very excited to announce my first series. I forgot that. My very first series here on TikTok. And it's... Uh, uh, it's good. All I can say is it's really good. I can't even think of what it's called now. I forgot what I named it, but um, <laughs> it's seven days of affirmations. It's like, but it turned into like these mini messages, like these like motivational little, you know, like mini sermonettes or something like that. And then we do an affirmation. And then I, of course I, you know, I got to speak over your life. And so it's $4.99 right now. Um, Cause I'm, you know, I'm introducing it. So it's over there on my series. I don't know how you, how you even find it, but it's, um, it's so good. It's seven videos, seven days of me, you know, it's like a Peloton for your soul. But anyway, um, <laughs> I would love for you guys to go purchase this and then tell me what you think, because I'm going to do more of these, these little, you know, series. I'm like, that's right up my alley. Cause I love to start a thread of, of, a, a, a line of thinking and then kind of build it and then build it out, build it out and explain it. So that's right up my alley to teach, you know, in series. So anyway, anyway, um, so cop that. What is it? Let me, you know what Craig keeps saying. Why don't you tell them the name of it? I didn't link it here. Maybe I didn't. Hold on. Refuse to be overcome. Thank you. Refuse to be overcome. Refuse to be overcome. That is the name of my series. Seven days of affirmations, light language uh, activations, 
little mini sermonette, little, you know, little breathing exercise. We're just having a good time on there. The video is like five minutes, I think. Like, you know, under six minutes, but it's every day. And uh, so it's good. It's good. Just check out the introductory video. You'll see what I'm talking about. See if you want to want to it. All right. Anyway, uh, if you have not followed me, you're wrong. Go ahead and follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. And uh, keep up with where we are and uh, where we're going. And I love to, to, to hang out with you as long as you're hanging out with me. So peace out, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening, morning, day, afternoon, wherever you are when you're watching this. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Till we meet again. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. <laughs>